hi guys in today's video we are going to discuss about the network topology and the different types of topology so let us first understand what is a topology so topology can be defined as a map of a network physical topology describes where the cables run and where the workstations nodes routers and gateways are located so networks are usually in bus, ring, star or mesh topologies. So basically the geometrical sh arrangement of a network, how the different devices, physical devices are connected to each other. So the representation is called the topology. So we can have the different types of equipments in the network, cables, routers and other sort of network equipments, other sort of network devices so how they are interlinked or connected so the fashion in which they are arranged or in which they are set up and deployed so that representation and setup is called the topology so the different arrangements uh, on the basis of the different arrangements we can categorize the topology as bus topology ring topology star topology and mesh topology so let us see all these one by one so we have so and so categories in the topology we also do have different ones but these are the major categories of topology so let us first talk about the mesh topology here is the representation of how the different stations in the mesh topology are connected so we can see that each of the station is connected to some other network with a dedicated link that is here and we can see that each device or station or node or computer system is connected with the other device with an end-to-end -end connection so here are some facts about the mesh topology every device has a point to point link to the other device so every device would be having a dedicated link to the other device if each physical link allows communication in both the direction that is uh, the communication would be allowed both ways then we require n n minus 1 by 2 links so if we consider that n are the number of nodes like in the previous diagram in this diagram we can see that there are five stations or five nodes then the value of n will be five so the total uh, number of links that we require becomes n n minus one by two so the example is telephone regional office so in uh, how in a tel telephone regional office the different equipments are connected to each other so same is the arrangement in the mesh topology we can see certain advantages and disadvantage of mesh topology so advantages contain less congestion because uh, we have will we will be having a end to end connection so there will not be any uh, congestion in the network then more secure it is failure of one link will definitely will would not be affecting the other fault is easy to understand or uh, easy to find then disadvantage becomes each device requires n minus one physical input output link so the cable link is very much here it is that is why costly also and installation and configuration is complex it becomes complex when we are using certain type of cables then another type is star topology in such topology we can see that each of the station is not connected to each other but is con is connected to a central hub so uh, uh, like mesh topology in star topology there is no one to one or dedicated connection in between the devices but each station or device would be connected to the hub so that means the information would be sent to the hub first and then in return the hub will be connecting to the another device so we can see that each device has a dedicated point to point link to the central uh, controller called hub herein each device will be con uh, will be linked to the hub and not to each other most popular typology used for networks so this kind of arrangement is used in uh, most of the networks signals from the sending computer go to the hub 
and are then retransmitted to all the computers in a network so first of all the sender would be sending the information to the hub the, that is the signal would be sent to the hub and then hub then uh, would be retransmitting those signals to the authenticate user or receiver so advantages and disadvantages contain less expensive than the mesh because not more connections or links will be will be required robustness because if a one link fails it does not affect the other so in this arrangement also if one link is not working if one of the devices is not working then uh, it will not be affecting any other workstation and disadvantages failure of central hub deactivate the entire system now if in this kind of system if the hub is not working or if hub fails to work then the entire system will fail because every device will be dependent on the hub itself net uh, another type of topology is bus topology so here in we can see the arrangement is like uh, there is a base line or a base cable we can say the foundation cable uh, which is referred to as the cable uh, line and each of the station is connected to this base cable using the drop line and is connected via the tap so we can see here that in bus topology it is a multi point network a signal sorry a single cable acts as a backbone to link all the devices in network each node is connected to the backbone cable by a drop cable and when a node sends a message it is been received by all other nodes in the network that lies between the communicating nodes so here in the diagram we can see that uh, the backbone cable that is the base cable that we have uh, would be having multiple taps in between so it is uh, it can be seen easily that the different stations are connected to the same base line and if one station want to send to the third station then uh, the that particular station would be first uh, the the message would be first received by the second station and then it will be received by the third station so the message in this way is transmitted to each of the device that lies in between the sending and the receiving end now we can see the disadvantage and advantage of bus topology so it is easy to install less cable is required in this arrangement also and it is efficient for small network now disadvantages are it is not suitable for large network because if the signal would be carrying in such a base uh, line or backbone cable then some of the uh, signals is transformed into heat and then there may be uh, the chances of signal failure or the weak signals so these are not suitable for the larger networks difficult connect reconnection and fault isolation it is slow if we add other devices then it will be difficult for connecting and uh, the new devices in such an arrangement and it is slow as compared to others additional device slow down the network so of course if there will be much devices then of course the transmission process will be much now another one is ring topology so in this type of topology uh, we can see that there is a ring sort of uh, arrangement so that is why it is called ring topology now we can see that each device is connected to a uh, again a single cable and each of the device incorporates a repeater so that the signals received from the previous end can be regenerated and can further be retransmitted to the another device ahead because uh, if one station wants to send to the fifth station then the information will be uh, will be passed through multiple other stations and if are not regenerated then there will be the chance of signal loss again the bit loss again so that is why in order to integrate uh, to maintain the integrity of the message and uh, to maintain the consistency of the message we need to regenerate the signal so that is why repeaters are incorporated every in every station so let us see um that point to point connection with the two devices on either of the side so basically here in one device is connected to the 
uh, adjacent devices and each device on the ring topology network acts as a repeater also it uh, transmits the data by passing a token so token is a series of bits usually it, it is of 3 bytes around the network now if the token is free a computer waiting to send the data takes it attaches the data and the destination's address to the token and sends it when the token reaches its destination computer it uses the data and releases the token for another device so basically here in we use in such type of arrangement we are using a token system wherein if one station needs to send the data to some other station then that token is used that ensure that um uh, the cable is busy in sending the message for some station and so the other stations cannot send at that particular time uh, the message so basically one station will be using that token and will be transmitting to the so the token contains the sender's address and the receiver address so each station in between that will be passing the uh, message ahead would be acknowledged by that token itself that the message is for that particular receiver and in such a way when the message is ultimately received by the receiver the token is then released by the receiver and then that token is can be used by some other station for again transmitting the message so such kind of mechanism is been used in ring topology so advantage and disadvantages contain easy to install require changing only two connections because if uh, the adjacent devices uh, would be affecting only and fault isolation is simplified now unidirectional traffic and break in ring disable the entire network again if any sort of uh, failure happens in the ring then the entire system will have to face the impact and higher implementation cost will be there so uh, that is all about all the types of topologies we will see some other techniques of network in the next video